Guys, today we'll talk about Facebook. So they're making three moves to invade in the LinkedIn and YouTube and Snapchat kingdom. So today is Friday. Please leave me some comments or like this video or share it or tell me if it is good to make it more structural. Like um, for Monday is educational, for Wednesday is housing, for Friday is stocks. Anything will do because I used to talk about all kinds of investment. As soon as there, like uh, there are always opportunities lying outside. So the more you know, the high chance and wider range you can profit with uh, for your portfolio. So what did they do? So I'll tell you some history of Facebook. So 2012, they acquired a company called Instagram. Probably I uh, bet you know that. And that really uh, kind of works, right? Because uh, in, you can through Instagram and make some advertising uh, revenue. But in two, uh, 2014, they acquired WhatsApp with a really expensive valuation. Why is expensive? Because uh, inside WhatsApp, they have no revenue stream at all. So it is uh, basically they are being play, uh, playing some big data game, okay? So in two, uh, uh, 2016, they have already uh, they have launched the bidding function in US, okay? So the first move, three weeks ago, they have launched and they have announced that, that you can now hire and look for, jo for jobs on Facebook. Will they succeed? Of course, because right now the active users using facebook the amount is already a quarter of the whole population in the world compared to compared to linkedin it's about six times of the active users using linkedin so if they launch this function it's really a really really a real deal like so linkedin will be stepping aside so of course this is now you know that all the acquisitions in the past is all for one or a few uh, blows to the competitors right now. So this is the one of the moves. So if you don't know that, they also uh, will look at the most downloads apps in 2016. So the first one is Facebook. The second one is Facebook's Messenger. So now, oh, now you know, because uh, a couple of years ago, you found out that you can no longer inbox or message your friends via the uh, Facebook app. So you really have to download another app called Facebook Messenger. Now, you know, for any better experience, for any empire, when they split and spin out an app, you know they will do something big with that, okay? The third one is YouTube, okay? So um, now you can use the Facebook Messenger to message and to pay and to call Uber, and you can also have robotic replies starting right now. So this is a big function that they, as long as they have the data, they have all the world. They are going to conquer the world. So the second thing is that uh, last year they have launched a series of improved functions using Facebook videos. That is kind of uh, like a blow to YouTube, but not necessary because I don't, I personally don't think that YouTube will be gone because of Facebook launching the videos, right? But they are launching this exact same revenue stream. So right now, if you provide contents to Facebook, they will share the advertisement fees to those who publish the contents. So wait a minute, that really sounds familiar. That is from YouTube. So you think that YouTube will be, will be a big rival? For sure, yeah, it is. So, but they are uh, launching this system, then I bet many or, or most of the content creators will also publish some unique contents via Facebook. So Facebook will, of course, for this news, you will think that Facebook will lose some money, right? But this is just a hook to, for more people to draw the traffic, and in the end, Facebook will earn bigger and bigger money. And also, they will get a lot more data okay so let's say oh you're from Oklahoma and you are white and this how many chance that you will brush your teeth how for how many times before three o'clock so you can sell that data for all the marketing companies right that is exactly how we do the marketing in the whole Asia side so uh, I, I'll just say that I will like uh, I will try to hit the Malaysia uh, market right now so I'll publish the series of content I can smartly analyze the data 
and now I hit the I I I'm in the, the uh, Malaysia market. So every seminar I can draw a thousand people in the city. Okay, so this is exactly I understand the trend. So third one is Snapchat. So Snapchat is listed in IPO. I always tell people not to uh, not to buy Snapchat stock because. I think the many many founders are stuck in the story like that. For example, Twitter, Twitter, right? They're really good in making an app, but they really suck and and, and how profit. So Snapchat is not a suck, but they really don't have a solid revenue stream. Think about that. And also because they're maybe they're too busy about the IPO, they forgot to that. They have biggest rival called Instagram. Okay, so when Instagram launched the story theme uh, back last year, November, the Snap Snapchat market has dropped by thirty percent. So this is another blind spot that when you come become big, you will forgot forget all your rivals. The example is Nokia, right? So when Nokia died, the founder even didn't know the reason they uh, they. Uh, they were uh, they were doing bad, and even now, no one care about Nokia. They, the uh, the founder even cried, right? So they didn't understand. But the trend is uh, is shifting using the smartphone, right? But obviously, they didn't know. So there are many other stories like BlackBerry stuff like that. So I hope that Snapchat is not repeating the history. Not forget not not to forget about that Instagram behind. Is uh, backed by Facebook. Okay, a person with lots of money, all the data, right? So they can just swing it down with a baby finger in no time. Okay, so this is really bad uh, for Snapchat. Okay, so now look at the Facebook revenue. So we see that the annual report has been out. Has been announced in February first, so it was doing pretty good. So the next one is April twenty sixth. For now, we can say that the next, the quarter one sales for now the consensus is going to be double. Okay, with P now forty one times is really really cheap. Okay, so wait a minute. If I say cheap and undervalued, doesn't mean that you don't have to look at the chart and just buy anything right now. So now I will say that in a longer term. The investment value is there. Potential growth is a lot, but you can also wait for the charting to to chart to uh, adjust or any better time for technical using technical analysis to find price to kick in. So now it's around 130, 140 dollars. Okay, so we we'll really look at uh, look uh, we we'll really pay attention to the Fed decision in the coming March 15. So if it is uh, as huge as expected, uh, having a raise of uh, 0.25 interest rate of the Fed rate, and also after the meeting, that's important. Yellen would talk about something about strong dollar policies, like economy is really too good. Now we're behind interest rate hike cycle, so we uh, by the end of December we'll raise the interest rate for four or six more times. That is actually a good sign because. Why should you say something like that? Because the data is strong, the economic data is really strong, so she can say something like that. But in short term, tonight is night. Tonight, the non farm data it is ex, uh, at least has to have 200,000 or above to make sure the US stocks will keep on going, not adjusting for now. Okay, so for any if you are investing in longer term, you can buy Facebook for for the first time, uh, bit by bit, starting now. But you have limited cash, you have just just one shot. I suggest you can wait for a bit for the adjustment, or at least for the long farm data. Or um, March fifteen, you can see about the Fed decision, and also March fifteen is the. Uh, presidential election in Lebanon. So this is uh, really going on cra crazy right now. So the extreme right party is going to win. That's another story. Okay. So in Google, his face is he looks pretty insane. Okay. <laughs> so when, when the photo cutting the star, you can, you can check it out. So that's basically for the uh, market update right now. So please leave me some comments. You know that I'll reply each of them. 
So if you have more problems about the questions about the housing market and stuff, I think I want to make a comprehensive and uh, more comprehensive video about the housing market. So you can uh, let me know if you want a video like that. So any topics I can share, but I, of course, if you don't have specific topics that uh, you want me to share, I have a specific topic already constructed in the Eastern side. I can copy and translate into English uh, with adjustments locally, uh, uh, tailor made to the US, Australia, and UK and Canada, Canadian markets. So before next time, have a good weekend. I'll see you Monday. It's an animation education video this time. I'll see you Monday. Remember to sm smash the like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. I'll see you next time. Bye.